This video is sponsored by Envato Elements. Hello, all creative filmmakers. In this video, I am going to show you how to create morphing transition in Premiere Pro. For this transition, we will use some Premiere Pro built in effects. By the way, if you want to buy this ready made transition, I will give the link in the video description. So, let's get started. Now we are inside Premiere Pro. Here, you can see, I have already got two different video clips in the timeline. In these two clips, I'm going to create a morphing transition. First of all, move the playhead to the end position of the first video clip. Then, from here, we have to move the playhead 26 frames backward. Next, cut the first video clip at this position. Now, I'm going to change the label color of this clip. You can select any color that you like. By the way, it's optional. After that, from the middle cut point, we have to move the playhead 10 frames forward. Next, drag and drop this second video clip at this position in video layer 2. Then, move the playhead 30 frames forward. And, cut this second video clip at this position. Now, I'm going to change the label color of this clip. You can select any color that you like. By the way, it's optional. Now, you can see the video like this. Next, I'm going to lock the video layer 2. Then, move the playhead to this clip. Now, I am going to apply some effects to the first video clip of video layer 1. That's why, move over to the effects panel to add some effects. First of all, we have to apply the median legacy effect. Now, drag and drop this median legacy effect to this video clip. After that, I am going to apply the find edges effect. Now, drag and drop this find edges effect to this video clip. After applying the find edges effect, you can see the changes in the program monitor. It is a drawing effect. Now, I am going to apply lens distortion effect. Let's drag and drop this lens distortion effect to this video clip. Lastly, we have to apply proc AMP effect. Let's drag and drop this proc AMP effect to this video clip. Now, we have to customize all the effects. That's why, move over to the effect controls panel. Here, you can see all the effects. Now, I am going to customize the median legacy effect. That's why, move the playhead to the beginning of the video. Next, click on this stopwatch icon of the radius to create the first keyframe. Then, move the playhead 22 frames forward. After that, click on this icon to create the second keyframe. Next, we have to make the radius value around 89. Now, select these two keyframes. Then, right click. Now, select this Bezier option. After that, we have to open the graph panel of radius. Now, we have to select the second keyframe. Then, move the handle to the bottom. After that, drag and move the handle like this. Again, move the handle to the bottom of the first keyframe, a little bit. And then, drag and move the handle like this. Follow the video, I hope you will understand this method. As you can see, the graph line is a curve shape. In this way, you can customize the graph panel of the radius. Next, I'm going to customize the find edges effect. First of all, we have to check the box of the invert. Now, you can see the changes in the program monitor. After that, move the playhead to the beginning of the video. Next, we have to click on this stopwatch icon of the blend width original to create the first keyframe. Now, we have to make the blend width original value around 100%. Then, move the playhead 16 frames forward. Next, we have to make the blend width original value around 0%. Now, Select these two keyframes. Then, right click. Now, select this Bezier option. After that, we have to open the graph panel of the blend width original. Now, we have to select the second keyframe. Then, move the handle to the top a little bit. Next, drag the handle and move like this. Again, move the handle to the top of the first keyframe a little bit. And then, drag and move the handle 
like this. Follow the video, I hope you will understand the method. As you can see, the graph line is a curve shape. In this way, you can customize the graph panel of the blend width original. Now, I am going to customize the lens distortion effect. That's why, move the playhead to the beginning of the video. Next, we have to click on this stopwatch icon of the curvature to create the first keyframe. Then, move the playhead 22 frames forward. Then here, we have to make the curvature value around minus 50. Now, select these two keyframes. Then, right click. Now, select this Bezier option. After that, we have to open the graph panel of the curvature. Now, we have to move the handle to the top of the second keyframe a little bit. After that, move the handle to the top of the first keyframe a little bit. Next, drag the handle of the last keyframe and move the handle like this. Follow the video. I hope you will understand the method. As you can see, the graph line is a curve shape. In this way, you can customize the graph panel of the curvature. Lastly, I am going to customize the proc AMP effect. That's why, move the playhead to the beginning of the video. Next, we have to click on this stopwatch icon of the saturation to create the first keyframe. Then, move the playhead 22 frames forward. Then here, we have to make the saturation value around 200. Now we are almost done. Next, I'm going to copy this proc AMP effect. And, make sure the playhead to the beginning of the video. Then here, we have to paste the copied proc AMP effect. Now we are done. We have applied perfectly all the effects for the first clip of the video layer 1. Let's preview. As you can see, it's perfect. Now, we have to apply some effects to the second video clip of video layer 2. First of all, let's talk about our sponsor. This video is sponsored by Envato Elements. Design better projects faster with Envato Elements. Get unlimited downloads of beautiful assets and ready to use templates for your digital projects. Create more with premium design assets. Video templates Mockups, fonts, presentations, photos, audio files, and more. All with commercial licenses for extra peace of mind. Envato Elements will make any project better while saving you time, effort, and money. Get unlimited downloads with Envato Elements. And start creating today. Let's go back to the tutorial. Here, you can see our second video clip. Now, I am going to apply some effects to this video clip of Video Layer 2. Let's unlock Video Layer 2. Now, you can see, our second video clip is visible. Next, move over to the Effects panel to add some effects. First of all, we have to apply the Dust and Scratches effect. Now, drag and drop this Dust and Scratches effect to this video clip. After that, I am going to apply the Find Edges effect. Now, drag and drop this Find Edges effect to this video clip. It is a drawing effect. Now, I am going to apply lens distortion effect. Let's drag and drop this lens distortion effect into this video clip. Lastly, we have to apply proc AMP effect. Let's drag and drop this proc AMP effect to this video clip. After applying all the effects, you can see the changes in the program monitor. Now, we have to customize all the effects. That's why, move over to the effect controls panel. Here, you can see all the effects. First of all, move the playhead to the beginning of the video. Next, click on this stopwatch icon of the opacity. Then, make the opacity value around 0%. Then, we have to move the playhead 15 frames forward. Then, make the opacity value around 100%. Now, select these two keyframes. Then, Right click. Now, select this Bezier option. Next, I'm going to customize the dust and scratches effect. First of all, move the playhead 
to the beginning of the video. Next, we have to click on this stopwatch icon, of the radius, to create the first keyframe. And, we have to make the radius value, around 100%. Then, move the playhead, 21 frames forward. Next, we have to make the radius value, around 1. Now, select these two keyframes. Then, right click. Now, select this Bezier option. After that, we have to open the graph panel, of the radius. Now, we have to select the second keyframe. Then, move the handle, of the second keyframe, to the top. Again, move the handle, of the first keyframe, to the top. Then, drag the handle, and move the handle like this. Follow the video, I hope you will understand the method. As you can see, the graph line is a curve shape. In this way, you can customize the graph panel, of the radius. Next, I am going to customize the find edges effect. First of all, we have to check the box of the invert. After that, move the playhead, to the beginning of the video. Now, we have to move the playhead, 8 frames forward. Next, we have to click on this stopwatch icon, of the blend width, original, to create the first keyframe. Then, move the playhead, 17 frames forward. Next, we have to make the blend width, original value, around 100%. Now, select these two keyframes. Then, right click. Now, select the Bezier option. After that, we have to open the graph panel, of the blend width, original. Now, we have to select the second keyframe. Then, move the handle to the bottom, a little bit. And, drag the handle. And, move the handle, like this. Again, move the handle to the bottom, of the first keyframe, a little bit. And then, drag the handle. After that, move the handle like this. As you can see, the graph line is a curve shape. In this way, you can customize the graph panel, of the blend width, original. Now, I am going to customize the lens distortion effect. That's why, move the playhead, to the beginning of the video. Next, we have to click on this stopwatch icon, of the curvature, to create the first keyframe. Then, we have to make the curvature value, around minus 50. Next, move the playhead, 25 frames forward. Then here, we have to make the curvature value, around 0%. Now, select these two keyframes. Then, right click. Now, select the Bezier option. After that, we have to open the graph panel, of the curvature. Now, we have to move the handle, to the bottom of the second keyframe, a little bit. And then, drag and move the handle, like this. Again, we have to move the handle, to the bottom of the first keyframe, a little bit. And then, drag and move the handle, like this. Follow the video, I hope you will understand. As you can see, the graph line is excellent. In this way, you can customize the graph panel, of the curvature. Lastly, I am going to customize the proc AMP effect. That's why, move the playhead, to the beginning of the video. Next, we have to click on this stopwatch icon, of the saturation, to create the first keyframe. And, make the saturation value, around 200. Then, move the playhead, 23 frames forward. Then here, we have to make the saturation value, around 100. Next, we have to select this last keyframe. Then, right click. Now, we have to select this Bezier option. Now we are almost done. Next, I am going to copy this proc AMP effect. And, make sure the playhead, to the beginning of the video. Then here, we have to paste the copied proc AMP effect. Now we are done. We have applied all the effects perfectly for the second clip of video layer 2. Let's preview. As you can see. It's perfect. This is morphing transition. In this way, you can create a morphing transition, in Premiere Pro. By the way, if you want to buy this ready-made transition, I will give the link in the video description. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, like the video and leave a comment.